Kimberly Kessler is going to prison. She faces a mandatory life sentence. You watch the verdict live here on News for Jax when a jury convicted her of murdering Jolene Cummings, the sheriff of Nassau County expressing relief at the outcome of the trial. She's evil. She's evil in the flesh. And as soon as she's sentenced, I want her behind out of our jail because we are fed up with her crap. It's the state's problem from now on. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel has been following this case closely since Cummings disappeared in May of 2018, and she's live outside the courthouse to show us how loved ones feel about the verdict. Corley. Mary, family and friends of Jolene Cummings say that they are relieved that Kessler was found guilty inside this courthouse today. But despite the verdict, loved ones are still hoping that Cummings' body will be found. In a courtroom full of happy tears and hugs, Jolene Cummings' mother says she could feel her daughter's presence the moment a verdict came down. In Florida versus Kimberly Kessler, a.k.a. Jennifer Marie Stiver, verdict count one, first degree murder. We the jury found the defendant guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. We know that she's watching down on you right now. What would you want her to know? Justice has been served. Everything that came through me is through Jolene. Jolene was here. Johnson reported Cummings missing after she never showed up to pick up her children on Mother's Day in 2018. Kessler, her former co-worker at the Tangles Hair Salon, was the last person to see Cummings alive. State prosecutors say evidence showed Kessler used scissors to kill Cummings before disposing her body. A trail of Cummings blood found cleaned up in the hair salon pointed detectives to Kessler, a woman with 17 different aliases. I don't for one second believe that Kimberly Kessler or whatever name she's going by today, I don't believe this is her first murder. I don't at all. Johnson has only one request from her daughter's killer. If you could find it within your heart to tell us where the remains of my daughter, where are the remains of my daughter? Give us some closure. I'm asking you from one mother to another. Johnson says her daughter was a loving mother of three whose spirit will live on forever. And I spoke with the father of Jolene Cummings' two sons. He says today was a great day. And he says that her kids talk and ask about her every day. And they will grow up knowing how much she was loved. Reporting live from Nassau County, Corley Peel Channel 4, the local station. Corley, did Sheriff Leeper say whether they have any idea where Cummings' body could be? Well, Sheriff Leeper says that she could be anywhere between Nassau County and St. John's County, but he still doesn't know. But he does say that they will never stop working on clues and trying to find out where she is. All right, Corley Peel reporting to us live. Thank you, Corley. And you can find more coverage of Kessler's trial and hear the verdict being read in its entirety right now on newsforjax.com and our free streaming app, News4Jax+.